Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the RLC series circuit. Consider this diagram. Resistor, inductor and capacitor are connected in series. It is energized by the supply AC voltage. Now we are going to analyze what is the behavior of this circuit. What is the voltage, phase angle between current and voltage, power factor, all these things we are going to analyze. So the V equal to Vm sin omega t is the applied voltage. I is the RMS value of the current. Vr is the voltage across the resistor R. Vl is the voltage across inductor. Vc voltage across the capacitor. So the current I, same current I is flowing through all three elements, resistor, inductor and capacitor. So we can take current as a reference vector. So based on that, the Vr, voltage drop across resistor equal to I into R. Voltage drop across inductor is I into XL. Voltage drop across capacitor is I into XC. So in this circuit, we have inductor as well as capacitor. The inductor is available means the current is lagging. If capacitor is available means the current is leading. The analysis of RL circuit, RC circuit available in the previous video. Link is available in the description box. You can view that. So in this we have both inductor and capacitor. So based on the value of inductor and capacitor, the current may be lagging or leading. Based on that we have three different cases are available. So first one is XL equal to XC. In the case one, this capacitive reactance equal to inductive reactants. Both are equal. We assume that there are three different cases. Case one is both are equal. If both are equal, it is act as a pure resistance. If XL equal to XC, the circuit is like a resistance because capacitive reactance is cancelled by the inductive reactants. That is leading lagging is cancelled. So that it is act as only resistance. If it is resistant mean current is in phase with the applied voltage and power factor is also unity. If XL equal to XC both the effects are called cancel. The current will be in phase with the voltage and power factor become 1. So based on that the phasor diagram is available. The current is available here. This is the voltage across the inductor. This is the voltage across the capacitor. Both are equal. Both got cancelled. So that only the voltage is available. VL equal to VC, XL equal to XC. So that voltage and current are in, in phase, in phase with each other. It is like a resistive circuit, simply a resistive circuit. So there is no phase angle. So the power factor also 1. Now we will go to the second case. In this, the XL is greater than XC. Capacitive reactance is lesser. Inductive reactance is more. Right? Here, the capacitive reactance is less and inductive reactance is more. In that case, it will act as a RL circuit. Because of inductive reactance more re inductive reactance, it acts as a RL circuit. If RL circuit, inductive circuit, inductive circuit means current lags the, current lagging the applied voltage. Current is lagging. So, the power factor is also lagging. So, in the based on our condition assumption, inductive reactance is more than the capacitive reactance so that it acts as a RL circuit. If it is RL circuit means the current is lagging the big lag begins the voltage. So, the power factor is also lagging. So, based on that the phasor diagram is available. The current is taken as the reference vector. The voltage across the resistor is in phase with the current. Right? This Vr is in phase with the current. This cap voltage across the inductor is leading. That is current is lagging means the voltage is leading. Similarly, the voltage across the capacitor. The current is leading means voltage is lagging. In case of capacitor, current leads but the voltage is lagging. See this magnitude, this Vc is lesser. Vl is more. Vl is greater than this Vc. Right? So the difference between these two, Vl minus Vc is available here. In that Vl, if you subtract Vc, the remaining voltage is available. So the vector sum of this Vl minus Vc and Vr is nothing but the total voltage. Because voltage is leading, we are getting the 
angle also in a leading pi pi in a positive positive value so v is the vector sum of this vr and vl minus vc the whole square so here the current is taken as reference the voltage across the resistor in phase with the current the voltage across the inductor leads the voltage the voltage across the capacitor lagging the voltage so the difference between these two is nothing but vl minus vc because vc is lesser vl is more the sum of these two these two voltage is nothing but the total voltage v so that is given here so based on that the waveform is available this is the voltage starts at zero degree here RL circuit so current is lagging so current start after some time that is a pi angle after pi angle only the current starts so the current lags the applied voltage by V so there is a lagging between current and voltage that is current is lagging by angle of pi so the current waveform this voltage waveform so based on that we will have the impedance diagram so this is the resistance in phase this capacitive reactance is lesser inductive reactance is more so the voltage is leading that is current is lagging mean voltage is leading so that we are getting in the upward direction so this is nothing but the difference between xl minus xc the sum of these two is nothing but the impedance r plus x jx j represents 90 degree right this x is nothing but xl minus xc and pi is positive because voltage is leading right so the reactance here is nothing but difference between inductive reactance and capacitive reactant xl minus xc so from this diagram we can easily write that v square equal to vr square plus vl minus vc the whole square from the phasor diagram from the previous phasor diagram we can write this equation from this diagram v square equal to vr square plus vl minus vc the whole square so that we can go for further analysis so vr is nothing but ir i into r vl is ixl vc is ixc so the i is available everywhere so take outside i square equal to r square plus xl minus xc the whole square this is v square we take square root on both sides so that v equal to i square root of r square plus xl minus xc the whole square so this term is nothing but a impedance z that is v by i z equal to v by bring this i in the denominator so z equal to v by i so the impedance of this case xl greater than xc mean square root of r square plus xl minus xc the whole square this is the impedance for the second case now we'll go to the third case in this capacitive reactance is more than the inductive reactance xl is greater than xc so this circuit will act as a rc circuit capacitor resistor and capacitor circuit capacitor circuit means current is lagging leading the voltage current is leading the applied voltage so the power factor also leading right so due to more capacitive reactants the circuit act as a rc circuit so the current is leads the applied voltage and power factor is zero power factor is leading so based on that we have phasor diagram and waveform so this is a reference vector current the voltage across resistor is in phase with the current so this is a voltage across the inductor lesser value this is a voltage drop across the capacitor more value right vxc is more than vc so the difference between these two this is lesser difference between these two is vc minus vl because current is leading but the voltage is lagging here voltage lags current leads so that it is drawn in downward direction so vector sum of these two vr square plus vc minus vl square is nothing but total voltage v so the angle also negative the voltage the resultant voltage also in available in the negative direction because capacitor circuit current is leading but the voltage is lagging voltage is lagging so this is the resultant voltage now we'll see the waveform this is the voltage waveform starts at zero degree current starts leading right so current start earlier before starting the voltage current start earlier with an phase angle of pi so there is a phase difference between current and voltage is pi that is leading 
current starts earlier. In previous case RL, the current start later. Here current start earlier. So there is a phase difference of pi. Now we will go to the impedance triangle. So this is the resistance because of voltage is lagging. So that it is drawn in downward. This is nothing but Xc minus Xl. Because Xc is more, Xl is less. So that Xc minus Xl. Vector sum of these two is impedance. R plus Jx. So the X is nothing but Xc minus Xl. So the pi is also negative. So now we discuss the RLC series circuit. Here the three cases available. Xl is equal to Xc. Both inductive capacitive reactants are equal. In the second case capacitive reactance is lesser. Inductive reactance is more. That act as oral circuit. In third case, capacitive reactance is more and inductive reactance is less. That act as RC circuit. We analyze the phasor diagram, waveform as well as impedance triangle for all three cases. Thank you.